Warden hey, Warden who, Warden me, Warden you, Warden news. Today, we have some new Warden news dropped by Mojang in a video they posted earlier this week. In this video, not only did they confirm that Marilla is spying on your computer, but they also confirmed that the Warden will look like this. <laughs> Yeah, that's a thing. Um, but there are definitely some other things in here that might just be complete rubbish, but also like might actually be kind of cool to look at. So, so they talked about having some different looks for the skulk blocks, which of course we know what they settled on because they showed us that in Minecraft Live. But here they talk about having a rust option that they thought of. There was also a bone version which i think looks kind of cool uh this purple evil stuff is kind of weird i'm glad they didn't pick this one uh some straight up dark that looks pretty similar to what we got now and uh, then some holy white stuff which really glad didn't end up on over this looks weird not very scary at all they also discussed some possible names that could have been possible for the warden um that they're really it was really just the stalker in the hall load they were never going to name it jonathan um but it's also very possible that it was just named warden they also showed a different few possibilities for what the warden itself would look like uh this is one of the pictures that they put up uh definitely weird i don't really i don't really get on with this whole long neck idea that's that's a bit weird um there were these there was a bunch of stuff up in here but yeah so it's also more on this whole holy idea they why i like the dark aspect in this one i don't like the whole whiteness creepy warden should definitely be this dark purple they ended up deciding with hairstyles they got the right hairstyle for the finished version. These are bad. Just, they're just bad. As bad as narrators. No offense. We also have some footage here of some of these test skins for the Warden. And these might actually be the animations for the final product of the Warden. They're just with the different skins. So, it'd be kind of interesting. They also explained in this video why they chose to give the Warden a sense of smell. Which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, they said because of the fact that uh, they don't want you just like being able to stay in the deep dark forever and just the word will never find you unless you make any noise like if you just stayed shifted the entire time you would be able to go around fine even if the word was spawned in um, they said they don't want that to happen they want you to have to get out of the deep dark basically as soon as the word spawns so it kind of changed from being able to avoid the warden to just never having the warden spawn. If the warden spawns, basically, you're done. And you don't really get a second chance at that point. So, that's definitely interesting. They also talked about how you don't have to fight the warden. Like, you could go to the deep dark and you fight the warden. But they want to make sure for anyone who doesn't want to fight the warden that they don't have to fight the warden you know by the way i'm gonna link this entire video in the description because if you want the information on here their video is probably way better at explaining it than i am um but generally you don't want to fight the warden you don't have to fight the warden and also it'll smell you out so you don't really you can't really fight it even if you want to because it's a tank and i think it has 500 hit points and can of course two shot you with netherite armor so it's definitely extremely thick and now it can smell you out so you can't really stay in the deep dark as soon as it spawns in you gotta leave and either find a different deep dark biome maybe you would do or uh maybe they despawn it's how, we don't know whether or not the warden will despawn like normal mobs yet uh based on the information in this video i feel like they won't but it's hard to tell, you know? Hard to say. And right here at the end of the video, 
we also got a little bit of a scene at some stuff that they might have in Deep Dark. And I'm actually going to set my playback speed to 0.5 so that we can get a good look at this. Um, so, of course, that was the Warden running. This is also the uh, one of the Deep Dark castles, it looks like. We've got candles, bulk stuff. These structures. Definitely naturally generating um, chiseled deep slate. That's pretty cool. Lots of stairs. It definitely looks broken down, but also extremely intentional. I'm, I'm, I love the vibes that are coming off of this. Uh, there's more of the warden animation. And then narrator starts uh, playing. On a uh, mossy cobblestone guitar. So that's... Dude, the... Also, we have soul lanterns in this. I'd like to point out soul lanterns right here that's extremely interesting because you know perfectly well that the only way to make soul lanterns is to go to the nether and get soul sand or soul soil from the nether and craft it with that so the fact that this generates an overworld is super interesting i don't actually i'm not sure how i feel about that because it feels like you're going and getting nether stuff before you also get in the nether but at the same time you can't because of the warden you can't even go into the deep dark until you're really overpowered and that probably doesn't happen until after you've got another so it might not be a pain but i don't know that's kind of that's kind of iffy if you ask me i feel like they may, might just be able to use candles instead might not have to actually they could just use blue candles, but it doesn't. I mean, I definitely like the vibes that this full lantern is giving off. Possible they just put it in here for this scene. Uh, I don't know. And now for some like speculation, I'm hoping that this video means that we're going to be getting snapshots of the warden soon, but I feel like it probably means the opposite. Probably means that we've got to wait. They're giving us kind of this information on the warden to appease our appetite, if you will, because we're not, they're not planning on giving us the warden anytime soon. I really hope we get the warden in snapshot because we've literally been waiting for it for almost a year and a half. Uh, cause they, yeah, they revealed it in 2020 and it's 2022. So yeah, but as far as it goes, really, really hoping that we'll get it in snapshot soon. But based on this video, I'm not sure we are. They definitely didn't say anything about snapshots or betas in this video. I feel like Bedrock might get it before we do on Java. Just because recently, any like teasers on Twitter for the Warden have all been in Bedrock Edition. And Bedrock, of course, already has the Skulk blocks and the darkness effect and all that goes with that. So I feel like... The Warden is just kind of one step away in Bedrock, but I'm really hoping that we'll get something in Java, considering Bedrock's kind of getting all the 1.19 glory recently. Java hadn't really gotten much of anything. We, we got a new command, okay? That's the exciting part. We don't care about what they get in Bedrock. We got a new command, and that's all that matters. No, I don't care about the command. I want the Warden. Please, Mochen, listen to me. Um... But yeah, I know it's a short video today, but thank you for watching and I will see you next time.